you know, this week's hot topic. You know, um, the, the, the topic this week is about being a good steward. And uh, I, I have people who ask me all the time, uh, you know, with that turn the other cheek stuff, you're always talking about, you know, finding another way. What do you do when people just abuse you? What, what do you do when people take advantage of you repeatedly? What do you do when people won't do what's right and you keep doing what's right? What happens when nothing ever gets better and basically people just punking you out? What, what's the answer to that? And, and my first answer to that is that, that prayer is the answer to everything. And I'm not, I'm not being funny when I say that, that that's when we need to get down and get dirty in our prayer. When we need to talk to God like God's our brother, like he is not just some ethereal kind of spirit thing up in the heavens, but you got to talk to God like you talk to your brother and tell him you need help. You think God is weak? You think God can't help you? By the way, I'm going to say this, and a lot of people might take exception to this. It's just too bad. I got the microphone. Just because you're Christian doesn't mean you're weak. All right? How about David, which is probably the most well-known story in the Bible, David and Goliath. Goliath was playing with the people, hurting the people over and over and over again. So what did David do? He took and buried that a stone in the boy's head. He took a slingshot and he killed him. I'm not telling you to kill anybody. Don't say I said that. I ain't saying throw a rock at nobody. I ain't saying that. There are other ways other than physical to disarm people. If you've got a good prayer life and a good spirit life and you got a decent brain on your shoulders, most people who are racking on you are racking on you out of jealousy and envy. They don't know how to figure you out. You too much for them. You too good. They see too much in you. Nobody, check this out, nobody that I know of has ever sacked the water boy. Did you ever, did you ever, did you ever see that? Did you ever see a water boy get sacked? No, I didn't. They're always trying to sack the quarterback, the best athlete on the field, the leader, the team's head, the team's spiritual head. That's right. So how do we do that? How do we protect ourselves other than prayer? And that is real simple. Direct conversation, direct communication, telling people, hey, this is intolerable. I'm not going to accept that. Do you think God is going to give you more if what he gives you, you let other people just take and stomp on without trying to do your part to make it right? In the end, God will make it right. But in the interim, it's your responsibility to protect what God has given you and to do well by it. God is not going to waste talent on somebody that doesn't protect the talent they already have. So when people play with you, when people want to punk you, you don't have to be violent. You don't have to get physical. What you have to get is smart and prayerful. You have to figure out how to outsmart people. You see, people who are spending all their time trying to dog you out are not developing their own skills, are not developing their next dimension. People who spend all their time dogging you out are not worried, and they're leaving themselves exposed. So your job then is to figure out how to disarm them without getting physical. I remember this person who was involved in a, a big uh, scandal uh, in the government with President Nixon. And his name is G. Gordon Liddy. And he had set this thing in motion to, to really put the hammer on somebody. And when they said to him, well, what's it going to be like? Is this going to be a big fight? Is this going to be a big battle? And he looked at this dude and he said, in the battle of wills, you've been totally disarmed. In the battle of wills, you've been totally disarmed. In other words, I have set myself like a flint, as it says in the Bible. I have set myself. I dug my heel in here. And, dude, you ain't getting up, over, on, or across me, not ever again. In the battle that we're about to have, you have been disarmed. And that's what I'm here to tell you today. I want God to give you everything that God's got for you. But in order for him to do that, you have to show him that you know how to handle what you got 
And you ain't going to let other people just take what he's already given you and trash it. Pray. Set yourself. Dig in. And don't be afraid to battle. And again, I'm not talking about physical. Don't be afraid to battle. Study your enemy. Study what they doing. Study what they're not doing. Figure it out. You're smarter than them because you've got God on your side. You know, we do Modern Word here every Sunday morning at Room Service Radio at 10 o'clock. I'd love to see you out here. God giving us some good words, some modern contemporary word. We're talking about all kinds of subjects and, and processes and things that are going on in life and how to make our lives better. So I would love to see you out here this Sunday at 10 a.m. You can catch us at Room Service Radio. You can also catch us at Deacon Tom Moore on Facebook and YouTube. So if you like the words on Thursday and Friday, we'd love to see you Sunday morning, 10 a.m. on Deacon Tom Moore, Facebook and on YouTube. Until then, be blessed. I love you. Remember, God's going to see you through, and I'm going to pray for you. Bye-bye. I Ross, love. Is it just me or is everyone on drugs? I've been dealing with some pain. I've been feeling for some love up late. Can't sleep. I'ma blow me a wood. Stimulate my thoughts. Feel about something good. Still so many days where I relapse. Find myself floating in the deep end. Somehow tapped in. Backspin on the verse. Every bar clutch. Setting place for the offense. Everything authentic. Organize my mind. Gotta get right. What if I never knew what it was? I've been searching for God in the depths of my soul. Tapped into the source of the plug at the seed of the saw. Pieced up thoughts. I just want to be home. Being so gone. I just want to be home. People so fake. I just want to be alone. I can't be. As wrong as you is in your right mind Forgiveness don't come with a lifeline Ask yourself off if you cross lines Ain't go for me if I ever treat you like wise I wanna see us up till we sky high Don't miss me when you got me on my fly by Every moment that we have is the right time Pray to death don't catch me by the blind side Yeah, yeah I crave a match in my energy If you can't make me better then you limit me And I need to be rich off the synergy How long do it take you to heal when the pain that you feel is a feeling When the feelings that you have cause sickness Can't talk too much, need healing And your energy off cause the thoughts in your mind make you feel like not even living and the world so fake need realer and the people so lost need leaders minds enslaved need freedom i've been thinking on a level way deeper if i'm ready to your press please keep me always forever i'll be there when you need me eating for some luck got some alcohol and drugs how i get so low i was doing so good how we lose touch we was just using words we supposed to choose growth not her can't let go gotta hold on no it ain't right i don't want to be wrong lost in the ink tattoo my soul speak truth through these poems and these songs so Aye. Yeah. Gotta be outside this shit, right? Can't all be bad. Hey, look. Yeah, losing touch with the world, but in tune with myself. Made it through some hell, so I'm sure we could last. Limitless soul, I've been pushing to the max. Turned myself to a guy from a man. Made my life to a business and a brand. Aligned with the stars, it was written in the sand. Life being dealt, I'm just playing my hand. Believing in myself, I'm just sticking to the plan. Started off reading, now I can't be read. God spoke to my heart, let it spread to my head. Influence my soul, manifest my prayers. See the ways we could all be ahead. Arm, leg, arm, leg, God, body Every part is important, don't doubt it Shit, we was taught, got us blinded Ain't no way we could grow close-minded I, I was deep in the water with a wave so strong it could drown you Raised by the sharks, gained knowledge Gained power, grew wings, got me outed Just a leader, cause I see we need guidance From a life where life don't like you Can't escape from the sin, you surrounded Walk through the desert of the depths of the shadows Make sun of yourself, it's a battle Scars on your heart, got your trust low Made it past the pain, got you solid Reminiscing what you lost, need flowers Made it here, something rare to accomplish No hold a nigga up, be honest They taking me for granted, I'm tired It's hard to find love when you hollow All I got is weed pills in this bottle Is it just me or is everyone on drugs? Feeling for some love, I ain't doing too good How we lose touch, we was just using words Can't swallow my pride, gotta find my worth Gotta kill this pain, can't hide my hurt Can't bite my tongue, can't waste my breath No, it ain't right, I don't wanna be wrong Gotta find my... Hey, is it just me or is everyone on drugs? Feeding for some love, I ain't doing too good. How we lose touch, we was just using words. Can't swallow my pride, gotta find my worth. Gotta kill this pain, can't hide my hurt. Can't bite my tongue, can't waste my breath. No, it ain't right, I don't wanna be wrong. Gotta find my peace, gotta free my soul. So. What's going on? What's going on? Welcome back to Hot Seat with Icy Jones right here on Room Service Radio. You already know how it go. 
We live every Thursday and Friday, 12 to 2. Listen, man, we're on Instagram. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube right now. Man, we just had gas station studios in the building. We had Tiana Shy and we had King Gas. Great, great interview. Enjoyed myself. And, uh, man, so now we got one of the writers from the team. You feel me? We got my brother, my homeboy, Righteous Music is in the building. Hey, what's happening, bro? What's happening, my guy? Hey. Huh? Welcome. Uh, Thank you. I appreciate it. Absolutely, man. Absolutely, man. So, for the people who don't know, man, tell me, tell me, where is Righteous Music from? Oh, I'm Las Vegas, bro. Yeah? Born and raised. Born and, Born and raised. raised. West Side. West Side. <laughs> I feel Love it, man. Time. Yeah, man. <clears throat> and for you, bro, how was it <clears throat> coming up in Vegas, man? Ah. Uh, it was it was pretty hectic, you mm. know. Uh, the '90s. I'm a '90s baby, so back then there was a lot of a lot of different stuff going on. So mm. coming up on the West Side, uh, Larry and Comstock. Mm-hmm. So a whole bunch of different trials up over there. You feel mm-hmm. me? So yeah, man. It it, it was pretty crazy. Mm. Tell me, what is one of the bug guy situations that you can speak on? Who? Right off the top. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, man, you know me. I got a few. Let, let yeah. me see. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what, what comes to, to mind, What man? comes to mind, honestly, uh, is when I got hit by a drunk driver. Mm. So I think that was like, mm. oh, a few years ago. I can't think right off the top of my head, but like three, four years ago. In a car? You yeah. was You was in a car? <clears throat> yeah, I was on my way to work. I was on my way to work. And, uh... It was New Year's. New okay. Year's morning. Okay. I had just told my wife, like, yo, I low-key don't want to go to work. I feel odd. Mm. And so she was like, you you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, pray and, you know, make sure everything's straight. I'm like, all right. So it's like 5 in the morning, mm-hmm. and I'm going to the uh, freeway, and I'm right there on Bonanza and... Uh, MLK? Yep. Yeah. And um, just sitting there at the light, bro, about to go hit the freeway, and I get hit. My car get hit from the back. You know what I'm saying? Dude drunk, speeding. So I get hit, my car fly across the intersection. Dang. Yeah, so it was like, boom, I got hit. I uh, get control of the car. <clears throat> and when I do that, I'm about to hop out. Like, after I get my, you know what I'm saying, my mind Wits right. Like, together. Lord, yeah, I'm like, Lord, what just happened? So I'm trying to get out the car. A uh, lady pulled over. She looked like she was a nurse or something, seeing there or something. And uh, she tell me, be calm, you know what I'm saying? Call the police, like, don't do nothing. Don't like, I could tell he's not, you know what I'm saying? So I do that or whatever. And, and yeah, man, it was it was crazy. Wow. Yeah, so but God uh, definitely, God definitely was uh, but, on uh, his job. That's crazy. Yeah, man. and I was cool. Like, you know, uh, well, I was cool, but it messed up my spine. So yeah. I got like two discs in my my lower back that's messed up. Yeah, you feel me? So yeah, yeah. But you're able to walk. Yeah, I'm good. You feel um, me? Like move around and yeah, yeah. for sure, yeah. for sure. Righteous music. When did music come into your life, man? <sighs> music been in my life since a kid, bro. Yeah. Uh, my brothers rap. Okay. So how many I, brothers you got? I got five brothers and eight sisters. Dang. I'm the youngest. Somebody was busy. Man, <laughs> but that's going off uh, both, both sides. sides yeah. yeah, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah. But yeah, five brothers, eight sisters, I'm the youngest. Okay. Um, Yeah, so I had a couple other brothers. I got a couple other brothers. Um, One still is in the music field. Okay. He owns his own studio in uh, Illinois, Decatur, Illinois. Okay. Uh, shout out to my brother, Jay Words. Okay. And then uh, I had another brother. I got another brother that was into the music when I was younger, but he stopped, so. But watching them, you feel me, and just seeing how they got to express themselves, move around with their friends and the vibe, the family. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I want to be a part of that. So, yeah. yeah, definitely. That's dope. That's dope. When did you first hit the studio? Hmm. I had to have been, like, 16. Yeah. Like, actually, my professional studio, mm-hmm. like, 16, 17. Okay. Yeah, and that was at Digital Insight. Oh. You put a couple of dollars together. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. My brother, my brother was, you know, making sure everything was straight. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he had me up in there. Okay. 
So what about before then? Because that's professional. What about before, before then? Before then, it was just home studios. Yeah. Yeah. Me and the homies used to, you know, have a little laptop. Yeah. Uh, string up a mic in the closet, put a sock on it. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and yeah. go in there and do our thing. So. How old were you then? Uh, First time you remember that? Probably had to be like 14. 14. 18, yeah. yeah. And when did the name, did you have a name before Righteous Music? Yeah, I did. What was that so, name? So. I started off originally as Young Vegas. Okay. And that's when I was, like, young. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I used to go by Young Vegas, and as I got older, started hearing other artists, Young Vegas, Young, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Someone to the city, so mm -hmm. had to switch up my name. But uh, I started going by, I think, Lost City. Okay. Which is Las Vegas and Sin City put together. Yeah. So started going by that, and as time went on, started finding a different route. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Life started changing, and yeah, yeah so that's when I that's I came in. So how old were you when you became Righteous Music? 21. And how did Christian hip hop come into your life? <sighs> well, um, I'm going to say I got saved when I was like 20. Okay. And, uh, but I wanted to keep doing music. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't feel the same. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With the new teachings, you know what I'm saying? And learning God and, you know what I'm saying? Learning more love and learning to uplift. Yeah. So once that got in my spirit, mm -hmm. you feel me? I knew I couldn't keep doing the same music I was doing because right. I was just tearing down. Yep. You feel me? So once God taught me how to like, nah, go speak to your people and your music, cause that's what you, you do. You know how to speak in your music. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, all right. So I started finding my way in that. You yeah. Feel me? Yeah. Did you have any um, people that you looked up to? as far as like the industry um that you listen to. Yeah. Uh of course Tupac. That's you know what I'm saying? Like from a kid, always watching Tupac. Yeah. Uh um Pac, Biggie, the Kendricks, the Coles, you feel me, the Jay Z's, all of them. So what about C H H? When you turned twenty and got saved, who was you listening to after that? You. Damn, <laughs> not just me, dog. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, no, like you, uh, Bizzle. I listened to Bizzle, Seven, Lecrae. Okay. All of them. Like, I definitely started learning from them because I seen that they were different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Yeah, I seen they was different. Right. Bars. When did the bars come the bars, for righteous the bars music? Bars been a part of me since a kid. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll say I also watched Cassidy, Wayne, all of them. I grew up listening to them, too. Yeah. So bars always been a part of me. Punchlines, I yeah. always tried to figure it out. So yeah. I grew up punchlines. I was at Booker Elementary battling. You okay. know what I'm saying? So I was that was who I was. Yeah. 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 Always. What about the uh, battle rap scene? I love that scene. <laughs> <laughs> that's really a sport I really love music like I'm a fan you know what I'm saying yeah. every element so the battle rap scene that's yeah cause it seemed like like that's where the bars be coming from right yeah of course, um, of course but you make them like fit your lane yeah you know what I'm saying you have to um is that something that that you knew you had to do or it just started to come I mean I knew I had to make it fit me because if not, then, you know, it's going to just look like, oh, he's just a battle rapper. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he just do this, he just do that type mm -hmm. stuff. So that's why when you go listen to my music, you see, oh, nah, he's not. You know what I'm saying? Like the battle rap side come because I'm a, a fan of the sport. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I go tune in with them because they still take rapping serious. Yep. A lot of people in the industry don't. Right. You right, know what I'm right, saying? Right. They take it serious. Like yeah. this is what they do. So, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And then it comes to gas station right yeah that's the home so how did that come about <laughs> well i met gas some years ago mm -hmm. because of our sis uh god's poet yeah shout out to poet yeah uh she introduced me to him because you know i was looking for a new studio yeah so she was like go meet with little bros and um see how y'all vibe he dope you know what i'm saying so i went to go link with him this is at the crib you yep. know what i'm saying before the buildings yeah <clears throat> so Went to go link with him, was recording a few songs. You know, we we chopped it up probably for like an hour the first time I met him before I even recorded. Yeah. Just on a spiritual tip because right. the vibe was there. You know what I'm saying? Like we were just chopping it up. So when I ended up coming back, recorded another song, he pulled me to the side and was like, bro, 
I'm trying to put together this writing team and like I really rock with what you're doing. Like I really want you to be part of it. Yeah. And it, we've been rocking since then. Been history. Yeah. So absolutely. So is Gas like the exclusive producer for you, or do you rock with other producers, or how does that work? Now? Oh no, uh, I rock with everybody. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I rock with everybody. Yeah. I be everywhere. But that's the that's the main engineer. Yeah, definitely. It's the only place you record. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I move around still when I record too, but that's home. Like that's yeah. most likely where I'm gonna be at. For sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Do you know of any other female engineers? No, I don't. Yeah. That's why I thought it was so amazing because I seen when he first started teaching her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I seen the the, the work. I seen her being nervous and you know what I'm saying? Like I seen it. So for yeah. her to, she got her confidence and she knows what she's doing now. Like mm-hmm. off top. Shout out sis Tiana uh, Shai. Tiana Shai, for, sure. for sure. So we have uh, these two videos. Mm-hmm. We got Beat the Odds mm-hmm. and Where You From, mm-hmm. right? Kind of give me the premise. Like if I was reading the back of a DVD. <clears throat> well, well, Beat the Odds, um, it shows the story of um, a young man coming from the streets and, um, of course, being mixed in with the wrong stuff, but also still dealing with the right stuff like school and stuff. So you see that he graduates. You know what I'm saying? So, And it's just like a lot of our youngins. Like a lot of our youngins, some, like they, some of them graduate and still go play in the streets. And I, be looking, I don't under, you know what I'm saying? I don't understand. So that's kind of the story for Beat the Odds. Mm-hmm. And... Um, on that, he, uh, you want the backstory for the, uh, where you from? Where you from? Okay. So where, where you from? Same character, but now it's like on a, a vengeful, like revenge to, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause what happened to him in the past mm-hmm. with his friend, you lose a friend, you know how people get with that, you know? So what um where you from the main character on that he he's one of the ones on beat the odds that did the running down on somebody mm-hmm. and after that he tries to go change his life mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying didn't sit well with him you know mm-hmm. and so that's why in the song you hear him talking about i mean you hear me saying like you know he he, he made his mistakes but now he's trying to change it yeah but sometimes the past still catch up with you. Mm-hmm. So that's the whole, you know what I'm saying? Like when you, you sometimes you got to, mm, I don't want to sound too harsh, but you read with yourself sometimes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like, it, it's, it's reality. Right. So that's why I know it's like a twist and people was asking me like, yo, but I thought he was doing good. It's like, yeah, but in reality, mm-hmm. people got a lot of stuff going on in the background. In the you background. don't know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's the yeah. storyline. Yeah. It takes someone's life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They never forget about that. Mm-hmm. Um, there was a story where, you know, dude waited for the man who hit somebody, mm-hmm. even though he went to jail. Mm-hmm. Dude got out and they killed him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, even though he may have had the time in prison and the, the judgment was on him. And, right, you know right, what I'm right. saying? He went right. through all the right things in prison. Probably right. did change his life. But right. the story behind that? They never forgot it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we want to get into these two videos. We want to play them back to back because it's a story. Mm-hmm. So introduce both of them. Beat the Odds. And- All right. For the first video, we got Beat the Odds featuring EJ. You feel me? Shout out EJ, bro. I appreciate you. Then the second video, we got Where You From. And this is Righteous Music. Hot Seat with Icy Jones. Room Service Radio. Let's go. Confusion 
cry, hurt and death, the only thing that you inheriting, this is the hood, so this is the heritage, so they don't know how to stop, they teach you be scared of commitment, but they tell you to marry the block, that's the dumbest philosophy, actually crap in the bucket mentality, claim that they love you, but when they play gravity, I am the messenger, do not be mad at me, there's always a chosen few, see things from a different view, determine to reach they goals, no matter what you put them through, they fear here, but ain't no fear here, round here, you gotta persevere, have your mind focused, keep your vision clear, that's the only way to get up out of here, I said they fear here, but ain't no fear here, round here, you gotta persevere, have your mind focused, keep your vision clear, that's the only way to get up out of here, yeah. We come from that dirty group, some kings and queens Learn to fly away, they try and clip your wings By 18, they wanna stand alive behind them bars Don't ever, ever doubt who you are You beat the odds Yeah, yeah, yeah. We beat the odds Yeah, yeah, yeah. With his set, they call him BC Bro, cause he stay low key. He bad any good. That nigga act like low key. He a youngin', but the work he put in made him OG. If they score, he gon' score more. Ain't no OT. Yeah, see, he got hot head. Try to check his tip. Get the same as all the bunch of heat. And the gang of smoke for who wouldn't throw his granny said She can't take no more. Marrying her son and grandson ain't how this supposed to go. Lately, all he got is his kids on his mind. Make sure his family good. Pay the bills on time. I cut some people. Off. They was moving out of line, the streets is asking for change, these niggas is dropping dimes Had to isolate, and now he off the grid, asking God to forgive him for some 
things he did. He grew up a screw up, that's something he can't admit. And now he trying to stay on point like a pyramid. He headed to a party for some business that he did. First he got to see his kids at his granny crib. It's a nice day. Got the blue sky with the sun out. And right before the shots rang out, all he heard is, where you from, nigga? Boy, welcome back, man. I see what I see. Jones, ah, you just watched <laughs> my guy put in work out here, man. Oh, man, you, give us a second on Instagram. We're going to be back up in a second. And, um, man, like I said, we live. <sighs> Beat the odds and where you from? We got righteous music in the building <laughs> telling them deep stories. Gee. You know what I mean? Sheesh. So um, why why do you want to go down the lane you're going down? Talk um, to us. <clears throat> well, like we said, that all started from being saved. Like once I got saved and God put it in my spirit, like, yo, you got to switch up your approach. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like then that's when that started. Mm. Yeah. Does the streets, <clears throat> <laughs> do they rock with it? Are they listening to your teachings? Yes. Okay. Actually, I have a lot of people that tune in to what I say. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people inbox me or just hit me up seeing like how I feel about certain things. You know what I'm saying? And so I know that they definitely paying attention to me. Okay. Absolutely. And like what's some of the some of the stories you've heard or some some of the things that's been inboxed to you? Um just basically like yo, uh um, let me see, let me see, let me see. Somebody asked me about uh, Think Twice before. I have a song on Think Twice for my album, Lead by Example. And that's about street violence, you know what I'm saying? Crip, blood, situation type stuff. So he hit me like, yo, uh, sometimes it ain't that easy. You know what I'm saying? Like some of us want to do good, some of us, you know what I'm saying? So I talk to him, I'm like, and that's why I tell both sides. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never make it look like it's just that easy. So easy to You know what I'm saying? Hints beat the odds. Yeah. Like, yeah, he was doing good, but he's still wrapped up in something. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So I just, I let him know, like, it's, yeah, it's a challenge, but it's your life. He want that revenge. You feel me? It's it's your life, and, and, and it's the path that you want to take at the end of the day. And that's the thing. Like, you don't have to commit the revenge. Mm-hmm. You can really allow vengeance to be the Lord, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you take it into your own hands. Because right. basically it just, you know, his homie, I don't know if his dad or whoever it was in the in Beat the Odds. Oh, homie, like a big homie. Big homie, big right? Homie. Teaching big him the game. That's the problem. Yeah, it was a big homie. His pops was locked up. He right, right, right. Big right. homie trying to, you know what I'm saying? Put him into Have the, him, right. Right. So The wrong, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And boom, he get murdered. Right, right in front of him. Right. That's traumatic anyway. Mm-hmm. Then boom, however many years later or whatever, he see him mm -hmm. and it's instant. It's instant. Reminisce. Reminisce. Yeah. You killed one of my best friends type thing. You know yeah. how that goes. So. And you got to get yours. Right. And in that moment, and even though we seen him graduate, now you, you, you risked it all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you have other stuff going on clearly. Yeah. But you're you're willing to risk it for revenge. Absolutely. And we, we see that a lot. Daily. In our community. <laughs> Daily. So, yeah. Yeah, you know I mean. So how did Righteous beat the odds? <sighs> Man, I beat, the, I beat the odds because of God, family, friends, and stand out the way. Mm. 
Like I, I was always the type, and you've been on me for years, you know, I always stayed to myself. Mm-hmm. I never was the one to try to beg for the attention. I always played the background, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I was always observant and, and always trying to figure out a way out. Mm. Even as kids, I didn't understand why we dealt with certain things. You know what I'm saying? Like, why am I getting used to gunshots? Mm. <clears throat> like, that don't bother me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, and this is kids. Numb to it. <laughs> right. So mm. it's like, but even as a kid, I'm like, but why? Right. When I see my homies and, like, they surprised that my dad is in the house. Why? I did want to say this, too. My bad. My bad. My <laughs> What's bad. up? Tiana Shy mm? engineered. Which one? <laughs> 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 oh, oh, listen, it, Tiana, listen, she engineered a lot of my songs. Yeah. Her and Gas. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's her and Gas all the way with all the uh, engineering. She just engi- uh, engineered, uh, what is that? What would you listen to? Where are you from? I was about to say Beat yeah. the Odds. Yeah. Did she do Beat the Odds too? I think that's Gas. Gas. Yeah, yeah Gas <clears throat> did Beat the Odds and T did uh, Where You From. Where You From. Yep, yep. She yep. My bad, sis. She my bad. Shout out. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> It's my all bad. good, man. It's all, all love, good. All love. So, um, young man, young, mm-hmm. you got married, right? Yes, sir. Um, talk to the people out there why it's important, but also, like, how it's just not easy. Oh, definitely. I mean, because um, when it comes down to marriage, like, of course, like, it's a, it's a serious thing. And you always want to make sure you're evenly yoked, compatible. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's nothing wrong with marriage because you love who you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah who you're getting tied in with. Yeah. That becomes your friend. It, it's what you make it. Mm-hmm. Marriage is what you make it. So if it's boring and dramatic, well, y'all gotta do what I'm saying. It's that's what it is. People hear marriage and it's like, Oh no, all this stop, all the fun stop. No, it doesn't. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't know, have to. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like know who you're getting involved with. Yeah. Get to know them. It's okay to date. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like that's, that's where that come in from. Right. So, yeah. Right. And how many children do y'all have now? Three, three children. Three, three. Those are my babies. Shout out Zamora, Righteous, and Serenity. What's up, y'all? What my babies? Are you teaching them now? (sighs) I'm teaching them, first of all, to trust God. Mm. Trust God. Something's wrong, talk to God. But also, I'm teaching them, like, to be yourself. Mm -hmm. You can also come talk to me and your mom. You Mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, with whatever. Yeah. Like, I I, I keep it honest with my kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I don't be trying to... Do the whole, like, nah, I, come on, let's talk. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're sad in your room and you crying and you feel like you don't want to be bothered, I need to know what's wrong yeah. before that get too deep. So come talk to your dad. Come talk to your mom. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, open that door. Right. You can't always shut them out. So, yeah, yeah that's what I teach them. Growing up, did you have a two-parent household? Yes, sir. What is something that dad taught you growing up that still sticks with you today? Business before pleasure. Business before pleasure was the first thing he would say every day. Before. Oh, you got to do that homework before you <laughs> yeah, go outside. You me? Like, yeah, but then it's like, but once you're done, go do your thing. Yeah. You feel me? You want money for the ice cream truck? You want, it's, it's whatever. It's whatever from there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's business before pleasure. Go make sure all your stuff is done. Yeah. Like, you know, the routine, go handle your business. And yeah. So that's the first thing. Right. Yeah. That you Absolutely. taught me. And then moms. Moms. Uh, shout out moms. Love you. Shout out my pops too. Uh, she taught us to just keep, she, to, first of all, she kept the household together. Okay. Uh, she worked at some of the hospital for like years on years. She do security now, but yeah. she was doing that. She was coming home, making sure the house she was, you know what I'm saying? Good for my pops and food ready. You know what I'm saying? Like she made sure we were straight and it was at that time, like six of us in the house. Yeah. So six kids and my dad, and yeah. she was doing her thing. So. Yeah. yeah. So what sticks with you from that? T- to keep pushing mm. and make sure your family straight. Right. Like it's 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 gonna get overwhelming. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you know you got your responsibilities, so you got to keep pushing. Facts. Absolutely. Yeah. I want to get into church. <laughs> because you know we've been doing this thing for many moons now right right um but at the same time like one would hear uh where you from nigga mm-hmm. and instantly be like that's not christian hip hop yes sir right yes sir um but right now in this day and age i say you're making music 
Mm-hmm. Surrounded by your moral compass. Mm-hmm. You know what you're teaching. Mm-hmm. You know what, you, what you're trying to put out there and the message you're trying to convey. Mm-hmm. Right? What is the church to righteous? First of all, I love the church. There's no disrespect to the church. You know what I'm saying? Um, the church for me is, I mean, you know, that's where you're going to go. You, you're going to learn. You feel mm-hmm. me? You need to go there and you're going to hear the word and you feel me? Hopefully you can get saved. Even though we all know that don't got to happen in a building. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But like, yeah, church, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's a, it's wild. Though. That's a wide topic. Yeah. yeah. And you know, the other thing is we are the church. Mm-hmm. We are the temple. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, and you don't have to be in a building mm-hmm. to have church. Right. But, We've been church hurt, bro. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think about the church hurt and, and, you know, how do you get through it? Well, people is people. Mm. That's how I look at it. That's good. Like, people is people. So people going to do what they do. I'll never turn my back on God. That's the end of the day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I realize people, they people. Like, some some going to be sneaky. Some going to whisper. Some going to do this. Some going to do that. So yeah. it's like, I. If this is how your mental state is all the time, yeah. like I can't be around you like that. Yeah. But I know I can go over here and talk to God. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I, I, my God don't end at your church. Yeah. He's everywhere. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And when I'm in the car, I talk to God. I yeah. give all my everything I do is I give it to God. You Fact. know what I'm saying? So Fact. you ask me how I come up with that punchline, ask my wife. I'd be like God, because I don't know how I put that together. Yeah. <laughs> like that's always my response. Like I don't. I could come up with something and then later on it makes sense down the line. I'm like, oh. Yeah. Like that's what you know what I'm saying? So yeah. Get it later. Yeah. Um now when it comes to like saying, hey, I wanna be a gospel rapper. I wanna be a Christian rapper. <clears throat> what do you what are you telling the, the youngsters, man? Well, because I guess I'm not technically a Christian rapper. Mm-hmm. You want to go by the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So if they're saying like, they want to be a Christian rapper, uh, rapper, gospel rapper, I say, you know, get in your book, you know, know what you're talking about, know what you're about to preach, know what comes with it. Mm-hmm. Cause you're going to have both sides coming at you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just make sure you find yourself and you got to keep God rooted in it at the end of the day. Yeah. So if that's what you're going to do, just know it's, it's a lot that still come with it on both ends. Right. Which means you have experience. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But keep God rooted in it. Yeah. Like, we all got different fruits. You know what I'm saying? Like, we all serve a different purpose. Like, my music don't sound like your music, but we follow the same guy. We right. still know who we're reaching. Right. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. yeah. And going back to something like concrete preaching, awake who's sleeping. Right? Right, right, right. <laughs> that's deep. <laughs> That's deep. Ooh, I forgot about this one. <laughs> to go to, you know, where you at now, right? Mm-hmm. How did you get there? Tell me about that that story. I feel like I started finding myself more. Okay. Like I was I was I was transforming myself for the church. Mm. It was for the church. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't feel like of course it's you know, God's still in it, but mm-hmm. me as an artist, my, you know what I'm saying? My creative side and all that stuff. It was just like, I got to find myself more for the crowd I'm trying to reach. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, I would do that type of stuff. And then it would just end at the church. Mm-hmm. Like you, they, you know, they pull us in, mm-hmm. come do these shows and it mm-hmm. ends there. Like, can I get you to actually push it somewhere else for me now mm-hmm. that I, you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. once I realized like, okay, are you just doing this for the church? Like, like start finding yourself, talk mm-hmm. like you, you know what I'm saying? Walk like you, like what, which I've always been doing. Mm-hmm. It's just, like I said, I was trying to change it. Yeah. So, yeah. And I think sometimes there's a like confusion with that, mm-hmm. like, because it's like, um, we're conforming to the ways of the world. Mm-hmm. When it's really like, no, I'm conforming to the ways of me. Yeah, this is how I Who am. God created me to, to be me. in him, though. And if you have an ear for it, you gonna, you know what I'm saying? You're going to hear it. Right. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, this is me. Like, I've heard somebody tell me, I never listened to a dude try to preach that's wearing a hat. I said, what? Dang. That's deep. And this was years ago. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. This is in the church. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. so y'all just dismiss anybody that don't look like y'all? Right. Like, okay. And it's always about the message, not the messenger. I'm trying to tell you. You know what I'm saying? They're quick to say it until they see it. Right. 
And that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. Like, I like I like how you said that. Like, it, it just ended at the church mm. when it's a broad spectrum to go off of mm-hmm. who we're trying to reach to mm-hmm. help. And again, you just one person, mm-hmm. just one person. But there's thousands of people that that one person can reach. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I like that um, you said it that way because it's the reality of the music mm-hmm. that's the tool and the message you right. feel me right definitely um and i said recently in recent times i'm not a youth group rapper mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know what i mean mm-hmm. like i'm a grown man mm-hmm. married with kids definitely right right doesn't mean i can't identify with what they're going through but i'm definitely going through my own thing as exactly, an adult exactly exactly and my adult story is for other adults. <laughs> Basically, right. Like, <laughs> you, know you can't saying? try to like, keep giving me the little, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. It's like, we grown out here. Come on out. And that don't mean I have to go be super rude, disrespectful, no. none of that. But no. I have to speak, you know what I'm saying? The reality. I can't keep trying to go to, you know what I'm saying? Trying to water it down all the time. All the time. <laughs> like, all the time. Yep. I can't do it. So Yeah, that's a good word. Water it down. Um, but you don't, you don't necessarily cuss in your music. Um, you don't disrespect women in your music. Mm-mm. So you have a moral compass. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, why? Why is your moral compass like this? Well. And how do you think it helps or, or does what it do? Well, first of all, I know me not cussing in my music originally is, you know, because we were doing the gospel. Yeah. I kept it up because um, my kids love singing my songs. Mm-hmm. Like, I know they're not going to say nigga. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, they could sing whatever they uh, listen to of mine. Yeah. So not only that, it also makes me stand out because mm-hmm. I don't have to use it. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know how I am. So, but yeah, that's why I keep it that way. Like, it, it causes me to stand out. You know what I'm saying? My, my kids love it. And yeah. That's what it is, man. And and do they, are they rapping? Do they want to rap? <sighs> Zamora, my oldest baby, she, she looking into it. <laughs> she is. <laughs> they be rapping, singing the whole nine, bro. So it's like, yeah, I ain't want to force it. You know no. what I'm saying? I asked her about it before. She said, nah, that's not really my thing. I said, I bet. Mm-hmm. Leave it alone. Probably like a year later, she came to me like, daddy, uh, I tried to first my, uh, write my first rap the other day. Mm. I'm like, what? <sighs> and this is a complete rap. Like, she's done. Not trying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay. So she putting in that white. Yeah, she was like, I wrote my first rap. So Right. Yeah. All right. I want to... um. Pull it up. If if we, do we have it already? Uh, what you just sent me? All right, let's pull it up. Um, this is my partner, Demario Bankston. Uh, he owns Fat Boy Trucking, and he is now hiring um, Class A drivers, fifteen hundred weekly pay, back and forth from Nevada, Utah, Arizona, California. Uh, Ten turnarounds, and you are home every night. We talking about fifteen hundred a week, which is approximately six thousand dollars a month. You're me. You know what I mean? So he is hiring. Um, you can text info at text info to Mario at 702-412-9608. Uh, front and back driver's license, uh, DOT physical, and last three years DMV history. Uh, he also has halfway point, um, your best freight solution. So receive a quote now. He will pick up your loads. You feel me? So once again, contact 702 702- Four one two nine six zero eight. The cell phone number is seven zero two five six three nine six two two. Um, you can email Demario at halfway dash point dot com. That's Demario at halfway dash point dot com. Uh, again, the website is also halfway dash point dot com. Located at sixty eight seventy one South Las Vegas Boulevard in the Enterprise Building D, and that's Las Vegas, Nevada eight nine one one nine. That's halfway dash point dot com. And receive a quote for them to pick up your loads. And once again, Mario, man, Fat Boy Trucking, that's Fat Boy Trucking, is now hiring Class A drivers, 1500 weekly pay, back and forth from Nevada, Utah, Arizona, and California. Ten turnarounds, and you are home every night. So text info to Mario at 702-412-9608. All right? Make sure that you tell them Icy Jones sent you. I see what Icy Jones, man. We in the building. Let's go. We got my partner, man. Righteous music. Yeah, man. Yeah. Is there anything we didn't touch on that you want to touch on, man? Anything you want to let the people know? Because you got 
Something uh, coming? What you got? An album or yeah, something? What you yeah, working man, on? I got an album coming, bro. I got an album coming. It's really almost finished. Like it's only a few more songs to record. So, what's the I'm title? Excited. The Rose. The Rose. Yeah. The Why? Rose. Um, just to represent where we came from. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when Tupac did the uh, concrete you know, that grew yeah. from the rose. Rose that grew from the concrete. Sorry. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, my spin on that, yeah. but it's still the same. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's for all of us though. Yeah. Because we all came from it. Yeah. So yeah. That's a fact, man. You have a rough date for us, a rough time frame. Mm-hmm. You don't want to say it, huh? Nah, Because then you put yourself under that. Yeah. You feel me? Like, <laughs> at least let me get these last ones recorded. Then I, you know yeah, what I'm saying? for yeah. sure. Will, um, where you from, be honest? Yes. And be the odds, or? Yes. Really? Okay. Yes. All right, cool. So just those two, just how different they are. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, yeah. yeah. It'll add. Definitely, man. So, once again, righteous music in the building, man. I appreciate you for stopping through. I appreciate through. you, bro. Thank you for you having feel me. me. I see what I see, Jones. I'll be here tomorrow. Got a couple of interviews for y'all. You smell me. So, <laughs> tune in 12 to 2 right here on Room Service Radio. I see what I see, Jones. You know what it is, man. We about to play some music before we get up out of here. Righteous music, where they follow you at? Uh, Instagram, Facebook, Righteous Music, R-I-T-E-C-H-U-S-S-M-U-Z-I-C. That's Instagram and Facebook and wherever else. So, yeah. Let's go. 100, man. And y'all know where to follow me at, man. Hot Seat with Icy Jones everywhere and I-C-J-O-N-E-Z everywhere. God bless y'all. Love y'all. See y'all tomorrow. Let's go. Seems like it's never gonna end. It's the drama, the drama setback. Just keep pressing, keep pressing. Just keep pressing. I'm gonna keep doing me. Best believe it. Best believe it. Yeah, yeah. Word. I'm on my road to recovery. I am. Shout out to my niggas out there struggling. Y'all know me. I'm gonna pull out my piece. Yeah. I'm on my road to recovery. Shout out to my niggas out there struggling. God gon' make a way, I know it doesn't seem. Devil have his way, I'm gon' pull out my piece. Road to recovery. Yeah. Road to recovery. What does it mean? So many things. So many depending who's telling it. I stay out dreams, nightmares, and screams. I told my psychologist, but she just thinks I smoke too much tree. She don't see the benefits. I get the green, best on the scene. By way of a telephone. Me and the homie, some animals. Hustling flow like a Macadoo. She just tell me why child Judas moves. Moderation with the stick and move. Trying to be great like Michael Jordan. But it takes work and it takes effort. It's some long nights and some hard lessons. Just keep pressing. You gon' find your way Today's a day, blessings coming all your way I speak into existence, we gon' have our way This by all them nights of ramen that was on our plans yeah, yeah. I'm on my road to recovery Shout out to my niggas out there struggling God gon' make a way, I know it doesn't seem Devil have his way, I'm gon' pull out my piece yeah. I'm on my road to recovery Shout out to my niggas out there struggling. God gon' make a way, I know it doesn't seem. God make a way. Devil have his way, I'm gon' pull out my piece. Yeah. I know I ain't perfect, I ain't faking that. I, ain't faking that. I done did some things and I can't take it back. It's a marathon, nigga, take a lap. On the road to recovery, I'm trying to make it back. Most uh, my closest friends turn their backs on me. This ain't theater class, why you act on me? Lost sight of my dreams, chasing cat on me. Cousin turned fatty, went rat on me. Daddy died and mama had a stroke. I've been through so much that you will never know. Trying to make ends meet, I started selling dope. All these toxic people in my life, I had to let them go. I'm on my road to recovery. Shout out to my niggas out there struggling. God gon' make a way, I know it doesn't seem. Devil have his way, I'm gon' pull out my piece. Yeah. I'm on my road to recovery. Shout out to my niggas out there struggling. God gon' make a way, I know it doesn't seem. Devil have his way, I'm gon' pull out my piece. Yeah. Made it out. Still 
stuck here. Just like you watching this. Stuck in your hometown. Doing nothing. But thank you for watching. Enjoy this video clip of me, Double R the God, and D McKenzie. Shot by, you have a company name? T's Visuals. Shot by T's Visuals. You're watching T's Visuals. <laughs> 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 Monsters out on Halloween, be back up in that bed. Now keep fucking with the gods, better pray I say my right. Don't let you keep on being blasphemous, gon' end up like the last man. Don't let you think that I'll be back on your fucking ass. Ain't no rings, I'm spitting petroleum. Why I gotta be the one to tell you that your shit's trash? You be sounding like a wannabe or shit on that last. Be the man around this bitch, shit so fucking sad. Own ass, sorry ass nigga with no fucking cash. Basking our accomplishments and that's some shit you'll never have. Just pointing that shit, I got you mad. I don't even know what the fuck you thought it was, man. I don't even know what the fuck you thought it was, man. I don't even know what the fuck you thought it was, man. I don't even know what the fuck you thought it was, man. was, sweetheart, sweetheart, sweetheart. Now you feel the heat, 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 heat. What the fuck you thought it was, man? I don't even know what the fuck you thought it was.